And they're just brawling it out here. And they're really just brawling it out here. And wait, what the hell? It's Michael Hyman. He's attacking him. What? No. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, oh, no. He's beating him up. He supports American wrestling being more superior. And then who the hell is that? Ricardo Rodriguez? Who's that other guy? I was like, what the hell's going on? He's confused as I am. Oh no. Oh no, they're attacking Hayabusa too. They support America. They believe American wrestling. They want to destroy Piroso. They want to destroy Japan wrestling. Oh, they support, they're like American style. American style. They're yelling in his ear. We support American style. American wrestling's better. Oh, this is such a goddamn joke. What the hell, Ricardo Rodriguez? Ugh, this is bull. Sudden Madness. This is yours truly, the GM Pack of Joseph Mondos, along with me, Eddie Mack. Hola. We also we're going to start, we have the Valiant Championship, My Machine Suicida, the Demolition That's Battle, Metal Ball, okay. Rich Chunk. Yeah. We'll take on Metal Ball Holly, the final one, you guys will face this someone. guy, Uno, uh, Uno, some dude versus El Luchador, I can't pronounce that name, I don't speak Spanish. I'm the big one. Real three elimination chamber match. Yep, the Terror Dream versus the Puro Team. And we're gonna kick this baby off with the Valiant Championship. I think a randomly introduced title. Oh great, this guy, Eddie. The delayed suicidal coming out, but that's his doing if you're wondering what it is. They found out that's from Porto Fuck for the Yeah, like, why? Because he fucks your torso, that's why. <laughs> the suicidal who has a habit of giving people, giving men abortions. Though I don't know how it would make sense to give a guy an abortion when they're not pregnant. This is scientifically possible, unless you saw the, I guess, maybe you watched the Ar that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where he got pregnant. Maybe they gave him the idea of giving people abortions at a random. Well, bro, as you know, when, as you know, you, you learn to expect strange things, and here is, the his opponent's at my machine, and, Wait, what? And he doesn't look, he doesn't, he doesn't look less to compete. Anyway. I guess we're concerned about his revenge for Alberto Rio, so who's gonna replace him? That's a good question! <laughs> Alright, so who we got? Who is coming down? Are you kidding me? James Lionheart Lawrence? Okay, I don't know who this is, Eddie, so you're gonna have to tell me. I haven't seen him in- I, I will say this, I haven't seen him in years! Last time I saw him, he was, I believe, in XGWL. 
Yeah, he's an XW Alpha a little bit as a Fusel, Fusel, Fusel champion over there for a while. So you mean the league that's currently uh, bankrupt right now? Yeah, 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 So we have James Lionheart Florence, who will be Florence will be taking the place of the Mind Machine for this for this Valiant title. I believe that's Valiant. Valiant. Well, however the hell you pronounce it, right? Right. I just know one thing. This is this will be the first time the this title has ever existed. As far as you know, I've been in the U.S. Dojo. We haven't even had a title. So this is the first. Championship match in U.S. Dojo history. Yeah, this is the very first championship. I mean, hell, we don't have a world title yet. What? Yeah, we have no world belt on it right now. Odd. And it looks like, oddly enough, we're gonna have a. T it's gonna be under TLC rules. Fantastic. And no, this is pretty random. I was about. I was gonna say when uh, you, when you were going on about suicide, suicide, and the whole abortion thing. Um, it's, it is C.A.W. And you, and you know as well as I do, you learn to accept some strange things. Look, dude, if you see you, Eddie, you've been with me on in S.E.A. So S.E.A. Right. is the current thing of expect the unexpected. Right. So is that a weapon? No it's not often yep. in the TLC match that you already see the tables and ladders already in the ring. Oh, God. Oh. Abyss will be proud. Shot streaming on the... On the outside, and suicide with no time to prepare for James Lionheart Florence. Well, he doesn't give a damn, all right. He, he's uh, already he's kicking his ass. Yeah, he is. So you know he has nothing to worry about. Oh, Eddie, did that table just break as soon as you grabbed it? Obviously, that table's not from Japan. So there you go. Yeah, yeah there we go. That American <laughs> tables, guys. American tables. CZW should get an award for that too. Oh look! Oh look! The strength of suicide. Double arm choke slam right on that concrete floor. Eddie, if you ever saw CZW Mania, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I lived in Pennsylvania for a couple of years, and that's the home of CCW. And yeah, like you know, you put somebody on an American table, and it breaks as soon as you place them on it. Right. And oh my God! A, another double up choke slam. Oh. This time, right on the rampway. I think Lionheart dude chose the wrong day to show up. Yeah, it's not working out well for him. You better be careful. It's really a, cool. Suicido might suicidal might give him an abortion. Right now, the way it's going for suicidal, it just might be a matter of when, not if he claims the oh, oh suplex, a vertical suplex right on the table. On that American table. Lionheart is out. Hey, okay, dude, all he has to do, Suicide just needs to grab the title. That's it. Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, I'm, Lionheart's back up. Oh, wait, Suicide, oh, he's open. He's going to try to grab the bell. Wait a minute. He's got okay. the title. He's got it. I handle it. Lost his grip. Well, you got to... Oh! Wow, I was trying to see if he was able to a man of that weight. Suicide is no small man. He's about 6'8". Oh. 290 pounds. Yeah, Suicide just yanked him down. Shades of Ivan Putski. And Lionheart just ran and hit air. Yeah. yeah Lionheart just staring Lion at him. I don't know Lionheart's just wasting his time, like just talking trash to Suicido when he could just be climbing that ladder to grab right. the Right. Exactly. I mean, he's like, you're basically, you, 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 if, if somebody's taking forever and they're outside the ring, they gives you the perfect opportunity to climb up the ladder and grab the title. I would think so. Like, what, what the hell would be the point of going around the ring, grabbing every damn weapon from from Home Depot that we got from Home Depot, and now he's randomly, what the, now he's randomly taking apart our table, what the hey, hell, hey, man? Hey, come on now. Oh, wait a minute, I'm going to think he's taking your advice here. Oh yeah, he, yeah. A vice he should have taken a few seconds ago. Right. Suicidal. Look at Suicidal. Like she's hanging. Like what are you doing, man? What is Suicidal doing? Uh, I think he's got something dastardly. Oh never. That did not go the way that was planned. Yeah, no, can't say it did. No. Oh 
God, I guarantee you. I, think, I, 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 I still think Lionheart got the worst of it. Yeah, he got the worst end of it. I mean, he landed on that Japanese table. And speaking of... Oh! Oh, God. German suplex right on the ladder. And for some reason, now we have double stack tables. I don't know if, if trying to mat wrestle will be the best idea in a TLC match. No. Yay! It's wrestling! <laughs> and now he's giving him surfboard stretch on the apron. TLC is nothing more than a bar fight environment. Yeah, bar fight without the bar. Right. <laughs> you know, we no Jeff Jarrett guitar, no beer. No APA. Using the table as a barrier. You know, Tyler, he just slide over the table. As soon as I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna climb up. Oh, yeah, this, this is probably gonna end bad for somebody. Yeah, you got the double stacked on one side, and you got the other table on the other side. Question is, whose punches are gonna be hard hit harder? Oh, where'd it go, Kevin guy? Where'd it go? Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh! Did he just... Was that a spawn or a Sambo suplex? I didn't even look at that. It, was, I think, it looked like an angle slam to me, but don't pull me on that. Yeah, yeah, the camera. The cameraman had a really bad angle. And, and most likely probably didn't white balance his camera. What wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh, my God. He's dead. Call the paramedics. Call 911. He just went through... Two tables with the ladder hitting him in the knee. And chair thrown at him and... Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's the power of steroids, man. My dude took a five-hour energy... Oh! ...and of steroids. And he gave him a, a Michinoku driver for his puzzle, for his troubles. And now... So why he grab the ladder, I don't know why. He's grabbing another random ladder. And... That ladder just... Hit Suicidal's face as it was slid in the ring there. Yeah, Suicidal, he's a big dude, man. He's he's tough. He's just shrugging all this stuff like, I eat those. Wait, what's Suicidal doing now? Oh, he's got him up. For a running... Oh, oh. wait. I thought it was going to be a running power slam. He just launches him across the ring with that with that scoop slam. With that running scoop slam. What a fall like that. I think he probably could have won a bronze medal in London. That should be a contest in London. Like, we grab people and we throw them across the, the yard. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be, like, the greatest contest ever. Oh, wait, what the? And then suicide on now. Over here! Oh, my fucking God. Dude, he superplexed him, and, the, and his spine hit the top of the ladder. <laughs> and Lionheart somehow survives. What? Oh. But unfortunately, he did not survive that giant double axe handle wow. from those elephant-like fists. That was, from, that was from like 10, 12 feet up in the air. Hey, at least we didn't have a Sid Vicious moment. Oh, oh thank goodness for that. Now, how we didn't have a Sid Vicious moment in, in that spot, is that, that might be a miracle in and of itself. And that oh, yeah. other will be a setup. And another random table, this time outside the ring. Right, boss. I got a bad feeling about this, Eddie. Yeah, you and me both. Oh! What? Oh my god, did you, wow, that that is, did you see what I think we just saw? That is some serious... Did he strength. throw him so hard that he went through the table? He, he that, bounced off I've, the apron, outside the ring, bounced off the apron, threw it at a table? I've, a never, table. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Did get... No, I thought he came down with me! Yeah, he lost there. his grip. We must have some really strong Velcro. There must be some really strong stuff holding on to that, onto that belt. I don't know what it is. It's, that probably may be... Oh! Must be Velcro from Drug Co. If you never saw the Drew Carey show, Eddie, you will not get the joke. Well, I, I, I've seen the Drew Carey show. I vaguely remember it, though. Oh, wait. Oh, oh no, wait, no. Pull, pull, oh. A pulling pile driver, and he hit On the chair. On the chair. Was on the chair. It looked like he hit the ladder. No, that, that could be impossible too. I know that's some crazy cam. Oh no! Surprise abortion! Of abortion! He lost his baby in the middle of the ring. Wow. <laughs> 